All right, so welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, in the last ones, we kind of talked about uh, gemming. We talked about the stages to farm. I even gave you guys a recommended team to start farming with, and those were all Astramon that the game flat out gives you um, to use. Uh, again, I tried my best to, to simulate gems that you might have at, at your stage in the game. Uh, if you don't, I uh, highly recommend that you go out there and farm the gems that uh, it, to bring you at least a little on par, especially with what I'm going to show you today. But I bring up that team because it actually went farther in the Dragon's Dungeon than I thought. Um, so I want to kind of show that off here, but again, I use this opportunity to teach um, you guys uh, again why what's the point of coming into the dragons what's the other reason of getting those sigils while you're out there on extreme and it comes down to the gems of siphon that can drop in here so as you can see with the ui we have both regular gems and the specialty gems can drop i firmly believe these left gems are in here just to screw with us and to waste our time uh specifically because we can go into the golems dungeon and get those gems uh, I think it's a waste of time in in here, but that's a that's a conversation for another day. So, but we're 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 caring only about the uh, siphon uh, gems specifically out of here. Now, that doesn't mean to take away from the Pugilist set or the Gem of Leech. Those two have their places for uh, builds and things like that. So keep that in mind as as we go forward. However, we want to increase our our farming uh, uh, potential out there, right? And those gems of siphon are what are going to be what we want to target out of here. So um, starting with B1, because this is where we, we you know, always come in here. Again, the Dragon's Dungeon is only open on the weekend, so you always farm up during the week. If you have enough to make a decent enough haul in here, um, uh, you can come in here and, and use your sigils. I try and wait until I have 100 of these because that means that's 50 gems. Um, however, for you guys, you might want to just come in here and roll the dice uh, anyway. Uh, the faster you can get those gems of siphon built up, uh, the faster you will be clearing uh, clearing uh, stages. So just remember, though, it's all RNG based. So uh, if you don't get them, it might take a little bit longer for you to build up the gems that I have. Remember, I have five years worth of running this game, running these dungeons. So that I have the gems is because I have been persistent and I have played it. So. But let's talk about the team composition here. It is switched up a, only by one Astromon from before. And yes, I realize I'm using her as a super evolution, but uh, super evolution for her is just a statistical... It's just the stats. Uh, I am us utilizing her for her abilities. So you guys can use uh, Fire Miho here in the leader slot and, and still get the same results with even without her being super evolved. She'll just have less stats. But let's cover her really quickly. Why did I choose uh, my Fire Miho? Well, the reason I picked her was because of her firm resolve, which helps the resistance of uh, my team so we don't get sapped uh, as often, hopefully, um, et cetera, et cetera. However, um, I'm using her as the utility uh, on here for the attack down at a 90% chance. Um, this is all because she is fully booked, level 5 here. I think it, yeah, it does show up here at the top, so I don't have to click out. Um, but the attack down is going to help. Um, you can debuff these dragons more times than not, and having them have the attack down here is just going to reduce the damage coming into you, and it's it's just great. The other thing is the passive uh, healing here for the uh, amount of damage she deals with her uh, active skill. So she's also going to heal the team up a little bit when she gets her active skill up. Now, as, as a critique of this build, um, you would want this HP siphon to always be in this normal skill. Again, uh, an Astromon to point out here is Water Persephone. If you can pull her, there's a reason why she's in the meta. Um, she not only has a CC, a crowd control effect on her active skill, but she has uh, this HP siphon. Only it's based off of the HP she has. So again, variances in skills. But regardless, what we're talking about here is the attack down is nice, and eventually her being able to heal everyone up is great. Um, once again, she is a tank, so we're going to be focusing a little bit of her HP. But however, evol you know, again, evaluating your Astromon, remember what the HP Siphon says. It's the amount of the damage she deals. So we can pad that a little bit with gems. And so I have gone with a Gem of Life set because, again, she is a tank, so she has more health, base health. So we're running HP percent here for two of her gems, as you can see. 
And again, the set bonus is going to give more HP. However, I am giving her a little bit of a boost in her attack because this directly correlates to this HP siphon skill. So again, we have gems that are helping our Astromon out, not just padding their statistics. So this uh, gem is specifically helping that ability. So those are the gems I've chosen. That's why she's in the party. Let's talk about one more thing that I have finally done. Uh, again, I said it in this video, that video, and I didn't do it, and I, I'm sorry. Now I have gemmed my uh, Arthur, like you guys should. Now this one's highly debatable on one gem because of his cr natural crit rate. I'm not going to go in here. You can look at the if you have Fire Arthur, you can clearly go in there and look at this for yourself to see why this crit rate gem is probably not one you need. You could just so swap this in for another attack percent um, uh, gem, and you'd probably be fine. But uh, again, sticking to how I, I, I talked about it in that video as well, uh, I'm using four star gems and only one five star gem. I'm doing my best to keep uh, as close to the gems that you guys would have uh, as possible here. So for him, uh, gem of valor set, attack percent, attack percent, both four star gems and one five, per, uh, five star crit rate gem, which again is a swing gem. He really doesn't benefit off of crit rate. Uh, so this could just be another attack percent gem and he'd hit even harder than he does. But as you guys are probably are going to see through this, I hope um, we're going to be doing just fine. And the other two Astromon have not changed at all. Their gems are the same. So let's jump in here. And again, we're going to go as far as, as we can in here. However, this team should be able to do Golem's B or Dragon's, excuse me, B7 very very easily and that's a, what we're gonna get down to so uh here i'm just gonna let this auto battle because i have that much faith in them taking out this first one very very easily um these are only level 40 astromon so um if you have again make sure everybody is uh level 60 and fully evolved and you have four star gems at least uh enhanced all the way that is that is one of the caveats to just help you come in here regardless and do what you see me doing. So, little bit of unlucky there with the Petrify, but Arthur being Arthur, he's just gonna one-shot the boss. So, um, even with the worst case scenario there, we lived it, but the Petrify uh, gives you increased defense so you don't have to worry about it. And four star, uh, Flat. It's unfortunately a flat, but four-star gem of leech. Eh, we'll we'll pass on that one. So let's just roll on into the next stage. Um, team's good to go. We're just gonna, like I said, we're just gonna keep trucking through this. I again gonna leave it auto battling up. You can turn off auto battle and and go after this to make sure you win. Uh, never just leave it up to chance. If uh, you don't have a team that can auto battle like this, um you but you know you can beat the stage then you know you will have to hand do this you will actually have to to hand pick who you're attacking and things like that again i have confidence that this team is just going to steamroll this for a while on auto battle so that's why i'm letting it go here And he is going to get a shadow breath off on here, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We got a couple resists anyway from the thirst. Uh, all thirst does is bring down um, your uh, active skill bar, so you can't use your active skill. Uh, but however, as you saw, not not too much of an issue there. Uh, ferocity recovery is an instant sell. Let's go to the next one. Now, this one uh, is some, even though it's it's only the uh, third floor, um, your water Mona here is going to probably die. So this is where I can suggest that you guys swap in for another fire attacker. You fought, put, swap it in for another, um, uh, some other, other Astromon that can deal the damage, whether it be another wood. Let's say you have a light Astromon you can swap in, what, whatever. Like, whatever your team to, to, to do this, but Water Mona's probably going to die in here. Uh, so it's going to be up to the other three Astromon to do it, but I'm going to keep her in there just to, to, to see what happens.
And something to think about too is with Mona being the the target here of all the the attacks, she she will take the hit off of everybody else. So in this in this case, um, you could use a defender or a tank water Astromon, but again, you're never going to really be farming this stage on here. As we watch, as my computer has a stroke. Um, but the the thing about it is, is you can use you can abuse the AI in that sense to be like, hey, there's that water Astromon, and so everyone can go after that one Astromon. Um, this is an AOE hit here anyway, so I'm not worried. You know, that's it is what it is. But um, as you can see, this team is still holding strong. And it should be a dead dragon. But yeah, so we get that one done. Mona lived. Funny enough, I'm like, she's just going to die and she lived. Gem of Protection, 7%. That's not bad for an early Gem of Protection uh, on here. But again, we are making our way through here. Uh, and, I, and I'm treating this as you would unlock it. So um, B4, though, here is kind of your first uh, square gem stage that you can farm. This is uh, equivalent to um, uh, basically Golem's B8. So if you had a full water team, you would just steamroll this on here. But this is your first uh, square gem uh, farming zone. Uh, definitely this is an easy one to go in here and uh, farm so this is where this team though can even make it past this one very easily which I'm I'm pleasantly uh, uh, surprised about so it's gonna be weird to say this but back in my day so I had my full water Mona team and you wanted to get up to this one to start farming and this is where water Mona really shined for uh, end game farming because you could farm square gems very easily with that team as long as you got here that wood one so the wood dungeon before this uh that team you had to waste gems always to get through but once again how monster super league has changed the astromon on screen since these are the ones given to you um are doing and again you know capture uh, again i picked fire miho because you can go out there and capture her and get her fully evolved you can even get you can easily get her variated to put her in the variant slot too um again everyone you see on screen is somebody you can go get and uh, look how easily with with bare minimum gems look how easily they're coming through here and here's cool first gem of siphon this is the gem you're looking for now we don't know what it is and unfortunately it's a flat gem however don't discount this stuff you can still use this gem for its set bonus okay you do want percent based gems but uh, eventually you want to get to percent based however these are your first sets of gems of siphon these can be useful to build a set bonus up so always keep that in mind um, that even those flats early on um, that th those can still be useful for that so, but going off into the next one, B5 is the uh, light uh, uh, dragon. So, we'll let this one go. These will get uh, uh, steadily diff more difficult. Um, and again, here, light being super effective to dark. Uh, it's no surprise to watch, uh, unfortunately, uh, Mona go down. But if she lives, she lives. She dies, the team should be able to pick it up. And they will. Next wave, we don't need any healing, but again, that's why I have Miho anyway in here. Two of them are just gonna go again, and we heal, so it's fine. little chip damage there the uh, defense down on the astromon or on the dragon is good unfortunately we got a three person shock we get fully healed though for miho so again that's that's why i do that um hopefully we get an attack down we did get an attack down so that's going to reduce this next hit coming in 
He does have regeneration, but uh, again, I'm confident we can out damage the regeneration. We keep the attack down on him, so he's not going to be doing as much damage, so we are going to live and get through this. I mean, even this, this is where this team actually started to surprise me a little bit, because I didn't expect it to be able to get through that one that easy. And again, going back to what I just said about swapping Astromon in, you know, Mona dying there, we could easily have swapped in somebody else that you might have. If you have another attacker, um, flat recovery, nice one game. Um, you could easily swap somebody else in there uh, to, to make sure they don't die. You know, again, this is all, uh, I'm just showing you this, this team and how it can, how it works, even with one person going down sometimes, right? But you can, if you're going to farm that stage, definitely account for the weakness that you're going after here, right? Um, you can easily swap in other Astromon. You don't have to, again, utilize what I'm showing you. If you have a better pick, 100%. I want you to use that better pick. Just, I'm oh, sorry, I go uh, radio silent there because I'm watching the debuffs that's coming out. Again, I picked Miho to have the resist, but once again, you know, you're not always going to get the rolls that you want with it. I only lost Mona there. I'll admit that this one's going a little bit diff uh, different than when I when I ran through it before, but we have all three of them with their specials up. This team should just, we get healed, we get more healed. And yeah, they got through it, so we're fine. And yes, this is fire, you know, water versus fire kind of thing, and I, I realize that. But at the same point, I wanted to... I, I still want to see how well this goes. Because, again, we have uh, attack down. Um, we have the attack down on the boss. And if Miho continues to get her special up, she's just going to continue to... Uh, <laughs> she's going to continue to heal for us. Slowly but surely. We don't have attack down here. Oh, so we still... We got through it. And Arthur's just going to do Arthur things and win. So even on that, a little bit spicy. Um, I'll admit that. Uh, but still, not not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Oh, well, let's see what that is. Hey, a diamond uh, five-star resist gem. I'll even keep that one. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. And it's a gem of siphon, so... Again, you got to take what, what what you can get in this game. So. Now, B7 is the stage I farm. And the only reason why I farm this is because it is easy and you have a chance now. And this is where the stage starts with this one. Uh, this is uh, five star and six star um, square gems. So this is really where I start. Again, I don't mind getting five star gems, but... Um, eventually you'll want to be in the bigger to get to the six, you know, the only the six star gems. So, uh, but the, the surprising fact to me was that this team could actually farm this because I use my best Astromon in here and just steamroll this. However, the team that I suggested you guys is actually good enough to come in here and, uh, and, and take this out by themselves too. I was, again, this was shocked that I could do this with this team. But once again, I'm glad that they can do this. And even as compared to the last one, this team is doing so much better. And he might be dead. Yeah, Miho's gonna gonna take the hit there off there. Now we are gonna go as far as possible so you guys can see. Um, I'll waste my sigils for this, for science, uh, so you guys don't have to. Um, unfortunately, tenacity, and even that was a flat, is bad. 
Um, but we're going to go to the next stage. But um, if you can, f this team can farm Dragons B7. Um, this is your farmable stage, in my opinion. Um, for a lot of my new newer players, this would not be a bad choice. So once again, I'll show it here. I choose B7. I guess, yes, I know it's only five. You only, you have a chance for five star gems too. But five star gems are good as well. Five to six star. This is really, since this team can farm this, this is where you can actually spend your sigils to start actually building up decent uh, gems of siphon, hopefully. Um, and then, you know, again, slowly work your way down. Uh, I can 100% tell you these are, these last two stages is where this team's going to falter big time. Um, it, it will not get past Golem's B9. Um, I, I promise you that because I've tested it. <laughs> and it's fa it's faltered off that first round. And again, that's fine. It doesn't have to... Uh, we don't have to be able to take out everything. But it will struggle here. Um, we definitely will start to see the, the struggle on this team. Mona, Mona gone immediately, which is no surprise there. Dark Mona almost gone as well. Wood Valkyrie putting the hurt hurt down still. Well, now with their attack down, we're good. Miho doing her work. So with the three of them, with their abilities up, computer's going to have a stroke, but we're going to get past this wave. I lied. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to wait see them waste uh, their supers, but it is what it is. Now, when I did this before, um, I still had everybody up somehow, but uh, it came down to uh, Miho, and she still died. So, again, this is, like I said, this is where this team's going to start to falter a little bit. And, again, I'm auto-battling it. I'm not touching nothing. I'm not going to direct where the AI is going to do. I'm going to let it do its thing. And they will slowly chip away at this Astromon, but... Uh uh, the issue, the problem that's going to arise is eventually he will do enough damage to kill us. That's what happened in my last one, and that's what's going to happen here. Ugh, sorry. Went out... Uh didn't mean to go radio silent here, but like I said, just watching. I'm just watching the, uh, the everything that comes out, what the dragon's going to be doing. Like I said, Miho's probably dead. Yeah, she's going to do that. Arthur's going to get his ability off, which is great, but he's probably going to die here. Now, this is one of those scenarios where uh, you can spend the 10 gems to just finish this one off, but like I said... Um, I wouldn't waste your gems just to finish this stuff. Um, for me, even on that, uh, again, I we're so close. You could spend this to get just to push yourself into the next one. But like I said, the next, uh, I'm not going to spend it here. I'm going to show you anyway. Um, even if you spend the gems and you're like, well, I spent the gems. You got so close. What about, you know, just getting it to finish the level? You could do that. But like I said, you're going to just, unfortunately hit this dragon you're not even gonna get to see the dragon um unfortunately um even if we do get up to the dragon we are just gonna die um i couldn't get past this first wave letting the computer auto battle for me fire arthur um does so much damage um and you can see just what even fire lat the damage fire lat did here So, and he resisted the uh, stun there, but there goes Mona. We are going to get past Arthur, it seems, so that's good. But like I said, this team is, we're already hurting pretty bad. And if this next wave lives, Miho might go down. 
Wow. Okay. Well, it proved me wrong. <laughs> I can be proven wrong. So we'll see. Well, defense down. Both of them got their abilities up. Let's see how hard the dragon hits. He didn't get an attack down, but that's because we were doing the other one. So, okay. They're chunking. He's dead. Yeah. Okay. Miho. Miho's dead. Yeah. So, uh, this is another one. Like I said, if you have to spend gems to farm, don't do it. This is, again, uh, something you don't want to be doing. Don't spend gems just to... You could spend gems in that scenario um, to push your... To push you into the next area to have golems, or not golems, but dragons B10 unlocked. So you can actually get down there. So, once again, they don't do too bad, but that's the thing. We couldn't auto battle it. We couldn't do what we did over here at B7 and set this to auto battle. Like, I could just set this right now and let this team run, and they should kill that over and over and over again. And that's the goal you want. You don't want to have to sit here and babysit this stuff. So, um,. I'm going to actually leave that off there. Um, this is a uh, this is a this test that I did here was much more uh, interesting even for me. I'm glad that I showed you guys a team that could actually come in here and go as far as they did. So again, I like it's a proof of concept. It's a it shows you guys um, who are just starting out, you know, teams that you can actually come in here and utilize because the game just gives you those for free. So. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that off here. Thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one.